guys, it's me, Mari Bonds, and I am back with another video. Today is Friday, April 14th, and it's currently 4.58 p.m., and I have baby seven here for you all, and it has been getting a lot warmer outside, so we're going to change him out of his long sleeve and hat. And we're going to change it into a sleepless onesie. And I've been waiting to put this sleepless onesie on since last summer. And I don't know why I never did, but it's just so cute. And it has two matching onesies to it. So I'll probably change Milano and Saint into them. But it's 75 degrees. It's been in the 70s, 80s this whole entire week. It's going to drop down to the 50s next week. But we can enjoy it a little bit. Um, as you guys can tell, it's really, really sunny. So... It's a lot of shadows. I'm going to see if I can open the blinds and if that will work. If not, then I'll just close them. But just give me one second. Oh, so bright. Okay. Uh, he looks kind of, he looks kind of weird. Let me see. It's still like a shadow even with the, even with the, um, blinds being open i don't think i like this give me one more second i'm gonna see if i can just flip the blinds the other way and let's see oh there we go he still looks a little weird and funny because now it's a little more dark in the room but we're just gonna change him really, really quick i don't have a topic i just want to show you guys his uh movement and his flexibility because he is for sale if anyone is interested and I know I said this is the last time that we're going to change him. I said that like two times and I put him in a sleeper than this time. But this is seriously the last time we're going to change them. When I have babies listed for sale, I try not to um, change them as much. But I still like to record a few videos with them so you guys can see them. So he's just going to be wearing this plain sleepless onesie. It's Tommy Hilfiger in zero out of zero months. So kind of one size. And... That's what he's been wearing. So let me go ahead and start by changing him and tell you guys just a little bit about him. So he is the Nathan Sculpt by Helen Connors, poured and molded by Tracy Harrington in a solid platinum silicone. He is 20 inches and six pounds. I think he's 20 inches and six pounds. He does have his COA, but I don't remember if he's 20 inches or 21 but I believe he's 20 inches, six pounds. He is a baby boy, full body silicone. So I found his blank kit and then I found somebody to paint him and I got him painted. Um, I gave his artist full control over painting him because she didn't want to paint him at first, but I gave her full control and she did an amazing, amazing job on him. And I love how she painted him. I don't mind giving artists full control because if I didn't trust them, I wouldn't have let them paint the baby in the first place. So everything went well with that and I think he turned out super, super cute. I'm going to take his hat off. It's a little too big. But this is his hair. His hair hasn't got done in like a couple of months actually. So we're going to wet his hair so I can show you guys his hair as well. But uh, yeah, he has one tiny fist and he has an open hand. And his open hand is actually a pretty good size. I like his open hand more than the fist. So yeah, that's him. He doesn't have anything special like a like any armatures. He doesn't have any armatures. No drink and wet system. Uh, what else? What are some other features? Squishy tummies. I don't know if they still do squishy tummies or not since the silicones are now more softer so they don't really need a squishy tummy but he doesn't have anything special like that. He's just your regular full body silicone. So yeah. He wears newborn size clothing. I tried premium on him because he is skinny and petite but premium was way too small for him so I recommend newborn because this is newborn and as you guys can see it fits him really really good also he hasn't had a bath since i got him so that is something that i need to do i had him for almost a year now
but it doesn't really feel like it since I didn't open him up until August. So I had his I got his blank kit in February. I got it painted in April. He was finished being painted in May, and then I didn't open him up until August. So yeah, it's a whole timeline for him. But he hasn't had a bath at all since I got him. And it's been almost a year since he was painted. So I think I might bathe him because he has a few lint and things like that. I don't like when lint gets stuck to them, but course looks like they're nature i'm gonna change his diaper these are newborn size pampers and they fit him really really good so we're gonna change his diaper and i recommend newborn size diapers you can try a size one but they might be a little big and you might have to fold them down so that they can fit better but i'm pretty sure a size one will fit but again, I recommend a size newborn. Newborn clothes, newborn diapers. So. Okay. There we go. He had that diaper on for quite a while so it's time for a new one let's go ahead and put his onesie on this is such a cute onesie he does have an open mouth his sculpt was sculpted with an open mouth he doesn't have any gums or tongue again it's just a regular full body silicone nothing special but he is super super cute and i would compare his silicone because he's solid platinum but i'll compare his silicone to be maybe ecoflex 20 that's what he feels like to me anyways <laughs> and the inside of this is white by the way guys This fits him perfectly. It's so tiny. This is going to fit Milano perfectly too because they're like the same petiteness. Saint, on the other hand, who is my April by Joanna Casmer, Zach, he might not be able to fit this. It might be a little too tight on him, but I'll try it on him anyways. It looks so cute. I think this is the best part about having full body silicones and it's so exciting because you can put them on pretty much anything because you don't have to worry about their clouds showing and i do still put on sleeveless onesies with my vinyl babies as well because all of them have full ones so when i do this hair when i do the baby's hair i wet it quite a bit it does have like little lint on him He does have some flaws and boo-boos. But if you're interested, I can go ahead and send you guys some additional pictures of his close-ups of his flaws. He has a head full of hair. Don't I am like this. <laughs> the back of his hair and then that will be it for his outfit change i know i wasn't talking much in this video because i didn't have a topic to talk about but how was you guys this day how was you guys this weekend actually because it's friday today the weeks are going by super super fast but it's friday what did you guys do this week did you guys just go to work or school <laughs> That's what I've been consisting of. Just work. That's pretty much it. Um, yes, but yesterday, um, a friend was asking 
what I was doing. And I was like, after work. And I was like, oh, nothing. And she had got asked to take some photos for a proposal. So I went with her to do that. And it was really nice. It was really, really, really nice. So that's what I did. Massage and work. <laughs> And uh, you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you have any weekend plans. I know a lot of times we ask if anyone, like what everyone's doing for the weekend. But honestly, I just rest most of the time unless I like hang out with a few friends. But other than that, I just really just rest. <laughs> but it's getting warmer outside. So soon I'll be actually outside doing something fun hopefully i say that all the time especially every summer i'm like oh yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun this summer and then i end up not doing anything or just staying in the house it rains a lot in the summer actually like a lot <laughs> when i was younger i used to get mad that it used to rain because uh, most of the time my plans were canceled especially if i wanted to go to six flags because not much you can do there when it rains Okay, let me show you guys his hair. I was supposed to have been showing you guys his mobility and flexibility. Totally forgot. <laughs> Here's his hair. Here's his face. He does have a few flaws. I need to figure out how to do his hair in the front. I don't know how I want. Let me focus you guys, sorry. I don't know how I want to do it. Also, I posted a video on Wednesday, and I don't know if no one saw it or if it didn't pop up for some odd reason, but it got like hardly any views. So if you guys didn't see it for whatever reason, YouTube is not showing or whatever, um, go ahead and watch that if you haven't already, because I randomly clicked on it and I realized like the comments were turned off and I have no clue why. So I turned them back on and they have stayed back on. So I don't, I'm not sure if you guys ended up watching it and the comments were turned off, which is why there's no comments, but I'm gonna be playing with his hair to get it right because I don't know how, I don't know how I want his hair. <laughs> I don't wanna make it crazy like that. I think I wanna push it all to the front. Mm, I'm not sure, but I don't wanna take too much of you guys' time. I'll just play with it off camera. And just figure out how I want it. But yeah, that is baby seven. Again, he is up for adoption. He can fit a pacifier in his mouth. He can fit a full pacifier as well as a cut pacifier. I just have a cut pacifier here and it has like cute little popsicles on it. So I'm gonna put this pacifier in his mouth. The cut ones do fit a little better than the full ones depending on the nipple size the smaller nipples fit a lot better in his mouth this is him really soft and squishy and he is awaiting a new mom or a new dad yeah that's him look at his cute little feet <laughs> And again, I will have to give him a little bath. So I might record that or I might not. I'm not gonna give him one anytime soon. I'm gonna leave him and then maybe in a couple of weeks if he's still here, hopefully he'll be gone by then. But in a couple of weeks if he's still here, I'll give him a bath. And then I might even just go ahead and pack him. But yeah, if anyone is interested in him, you guys can let me know. I don't do business in the comments, so you guys will have to contact me. You guys can contact me on Instagram or my email. My email is myreborns.yt at gmail.com. Everything is linked in the description down below. So go ahead and check the description. I also write different descriptions on every single one of my videos. So you guys can check that out as well. If you don't check the description. Sometimes I check the description on videos, but sometimes I honestly forget. So that's why I like to remind you guys that everything is linked below in the description and you guys can see everything that i say in there as well but anyway that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want to follow us on instagram go ahead and do so 
my instagram is maya underscore reborns and so if you guys like this video get a big thumbs up comment down below anything you guys want in the comments including video requests and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when i post another video we will talk to you guys later bye Let's bye <laughs> bye guys Thank you.